I'm going to be giving myself 100 days to complete my goals in Minecraft Naruto as an Uchiha. Going from using a Sharingan gun to a Mangekyo Sharingan gun to a gun. Let's begin with day one. So I spawned in a pretty decent area, I won't lie, with this Shinobi kit. And when I right clicked it, I got like a clan paper thing. And with that, I got the Uchiha, so not too bad. I did find Shikamaru, who gave me these Shogi pieces to say, just make a board and then bring it back to him. But I didn't do this for quite a while. But then the second Shikamaru came up and I thought, this is some clone jutsu baloney and I can't do clone jutsu yet, they're just flexing at this point. But there was this desert temple right here and I um I, I got in first time. No problems needed. I <clears throat> Anyway, I got in and realized that I don't have a pickaxe, so I had to leave straight away. Then I came across Tenten who traded gold Rio for Sasuke's sword, but I only had five at the time, so I was way too poor. I got some wood, made some tools, and with this, I could I could get to the desert temple. And I thought at this moment here that everything down there was a lost cause but i was lucky and nothing exploded so happy days the only good things down here was like this diamond and a golden apple but there was this like scroll of regeneration which would just heal citizens around me and i'm gonna cheat we we we, we don't do that around here, so I put that away. Once I got to the temple, I saw they had like this chakra paper, and I ended up getting a wind chakra. So I was like Naruto and Sasuke in one, which is kind of cool actually. I checked my stats and realized I didn't have a Kikai Genka, so I was a bit worried that I didn't have the Sharon Gun. I was like an Uchiha without a Sharon Gun, but I didn't have to worry too much. Also, in this menu, you can apply like, different stats to different Genjutsu, speed, etc. And eventually I realized that GP is also a stat at the very bottom of this menu. And at this moment in time, I only had one. And by killing any mob, you get like one stat point, I guess. And after a while, that'll give you an SP or a GP, which is for stats and different levels, to unlock different abilities. But let me explain what some of these do. So Ninjutsu increases chakra. Taijutsu increases the strength. Genjutsu is like your abilities. Medicine is like health related. And speed just increases the speed. And that's the main few that I use in this 100 days. So a lot of this 100 days is just me just killing literally anything that moves or breathes even this eight trigram sheep i eventually came across the village and this is when i noticed my my, my very first problem playing as an uchiha even though i'm technically in, in real life not an uchiha i have just this urge to um to to eradicate i i don't know why i just i just i couldn't couldn't help myself i just started killing um ev everything once that was done, I actually had like White Zetsu come after me. It was it was so weird. I didn't think I'd see him this early in the game. But it turns out that White Zetsu was literally everywhere. It was like we we're in the war. Arc. I had the impression that he was going to be really strong. So the next day I went to go fight him. And um, turns out I'm a side character. Though with a couple like crit hits, you can eventually take one down. But if they come in like a, like a pack, it becomes kind of a problem. I decided to make a backpack since there was a lot of items in this mod pack. And I wanted to be able to hold them all. Honestly, I look, I look pretty wholesome with a backpack, you know? But it turned out I had six SP that I haven't used yet. I decided to put them in equally ninjutsu, taijutsu, and speed. And in this night film, I started just fighting as many as white zetsu as I possibly could. And doing so gave me enough SP points to get my first fire release, which was this running fire, I believe it was called. And it was pretty difficult to use since I had to like aim it. It was like a circle almost. But maybe it wasn't too great for combat, but for something else we're about to see it was almost perfect so i indirectly burned down the entire village it was crazy i had no idea what happened it was like wow who would have thought oh no look i'm misplacing everything this is crazy oopsie doopsie well who, oh well and i went to bed so that was cool the next day i woke up and said i'm gonna do the story mode which basically just had uruka sensei to teach you the shadow clone jutsu technique which was pretty cool even though that the shadow clones don't really look like you i think that's just not a thing yet and it was kind of weird since you had to tame them by right clicking them. I didn't get used to that for quite a bit, but it's still quite cool. So if you punch, I don't know, for example, a sheep, they'd destroy it for you, which I thought was quite cool. And what was even cooler is that you make them make them fight each other. It was like a like a shadow clone battle royale. It was pretty pretty interesting, I suppose. Kind of kind of inhumane, but interesting. I then spotted a gang of white zets and decided I'm going to start my own little war. So I made tons of shadow clones. And then I forgot to tame them, so I just got battered. I then fought this Enderman since for the second story mode mission, I just had to like get some items. And once they had said items, I became a Genin. So that was pretty cool. But my skin at the time didn't like show the headband, so I had to go and like go into the old skin editor. And now I looked pretty sick, I won't lie. It was a really well made model. The next mission was to go and find Lady Tsunade, who I think was just in the Naruto biome. I found this ruined portal and got some nice, cool shoes, so cannot complain. It was looking kind of cool. And I also found this like DNA thing and it said I, it was like wind dna but i already had the track of nature so it didn't implant I ended up finding shikamaru again who again just spoke about his shogi board which i decided that i'll, I'll do right now it was actually pretty deep to make so it was just like three slabs and the shogi pieces on, on the either side and once you gave it to him 
Um, <clears throat> he gave you one silver Rio. It's a singular silver Rio. I thought it would be like maybe gold, maybe five silver Rio, but nope, I safe say I got scammed. I then found this innocent looking wonderful village which I um my hand slipped and I started burning down one of the houses and then my my hand slipped again, I burnt another one, then it happened again, then it happened by a villager instead, and then it just kept happening, which is crazy. And then I saw like the villagers were still alive, which was insane. Um, and then they died all of a sudden, which was, again, just, like, insane. It was crazy. I don't know what happened. But all of a sudden, I had enough points to get a new Jutsu, which was just insane. I ended up going with a Wind Jutsu, which is Boruto Stream, I believe it was called. And basically, all it did was just kind of, like, throw you into, into, like, a certain direction, which was pretty good for travel, I suppose. I then came across this really cool-looking Leaf Shinobi. I wonder what else, you know, what other cool things we'll see. Like this, um, baby with a sword on a chicken. Anyway, I finally found the Naruto biome, so I just spent a ridiculously stupid amount of time just trying to find Lady Tsunade. So much time, in fact, I got so bored I just made all my Shadow Clones have a fight and um, whoever survived was like my main Shadow Clone. But eventually I came across Lady Tsunade who gave me a quest. The quest was to, to catch a cat, which I thought would be really easy, but it wasn't. I ran across the entire Naruto biome trying to get this goddamn cat. It was so quick, but eventually I got it. And I got the achievement, this is how to be a genin with a leaf. So it took way too long, but I got it in the end. I ran back to Lady Tsunade and got my reward, which was basically nothing. But I did get the next story mode, which was basically just to learn the substitution jutsu, which I was actually really excited for since it looks so cool. So I had this like level 50 thing, which I think Tsunade gave me, but I didn't really. I spent my night like every other night that was just killing every mob I saw to try and get enough points to get more jutsus, which I actually did do. It was a really, really successful night. I took a break at a nearby village and unlocked the Sharingan, which was for 25 GP, so I did a lot that night. Then when I activated the Sharingan, there wasn't like a modded looking Sharingan, so I ended up just changing my skin to make my eyes red, which still looked really cool. And now I had two new Kekagenkais, the Mangekyo and the normal Sharingan, which was weird since I haven't got the Mangekyo just yet. But I thought this was weird. So I went to go fight these white Zetsus because I thought I'm so strong now because I got the Sharingan. I was wrong. Um, I still nearly got destroyed. But then my game crashed. I came back and I was back in the house. And I hadn't fought the white Zetsus yet. And the skills you saw me put on just then, I haven't put on yet. It was like I was put into an immediate Genjutsu by myself. So nothing happened. And then I thought this was funny as well. So by the morning I had another DNA sample thing, and once I right clicked it I got Earth DNA and then right clicking that I got the track of nature of Earth, which meant I now had fire, wind and earth nature. I had three. Which was I think I'm think I'm pretty sure it's that's pretty crazy in the Naruto world. I decided to take on the white Zatsu that I died to in the first Kenjutsu back then. And this time I had like 20 Shadow Clones with me. But unfortunately they kind of only go for one white Zetsu at a time. So I had to fight the rest while they all fought one. And then I called it a night. I woke up and looked at the new reward for the story mode. Which was Substitution Jutsu. And it was actually really cool. But at the time I didn't have enough Ninjutsu to use it. I needed 15 at, the point, at this point in time I only had 7. But luckily I had enough points to get 15. And right clicking it spawned like this um piece of wood with like shuriken in it which is just like how like kakashi uses it for example and its use was actually i mean yeah it existed it was quite useful i just want like this fire technique it was called fireball technique or the great fireball sorry and it, it was very very expensive to use so i didn't use it very often that much and it was i only hit one target so i, I barely used it though i did find itachi's mangekyo but it was i, I didn't get it in record though so um here's me Narrate, just struggling to try and like Narrate, bookmark off. What I just narrator. saw, and it just wasn't working. It just wasn't working. So I didn't realize you could spam certain jutsus. So this is me just using Boruto Stream to try and like up my my travel speed, I suppose. And it was really, really satisfying to use, but it did burn through my chakra. But I mean, travels travel. I found yet another village, and this time I thought, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll just live here, since you know I keep burning down villages. Maybe I should switch it up and just be a good citizen. Um, <clears throat> did it last long? Um, absolutely. But I did realize that Boruto Stream actually spawns two Borutos that throw you, which I had no idea before. And yeah, I, I lied by the way. That didn't, yeah. And then I Boruto Streamed out of there, so that was cool. I went mining and found this like really cool looking door, which opened really satisfyingly. But then this white Zetsu was there and it got like obliterated, so that was funny. My original plan for this place was just to like farm the hell out of this place, just to get tons and tons of points. But the spawners like break eventually, so I couldn't do that. But I really wanted these doors. I spent so much time just like gazing at doors. It was kind of weird. So I ended up just fighting tons of mobs in the caves as I usually would. Then I put tons of points into venison since I found myself nearly dying. Then I killed more mobs for more points. 
But since I could move so fast now, I was getting so impatient with like things like ladders. I kept trying to like speed the process somehow with my juicy. While I was on land, I tried to unlock Ultra Instinct as well as, you know, Sharon Gun, and um, I, I'd say I got quite close. But then I got put into a, to a, to a side character role. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I put one more point into medicine and ended up getting double health bars, and I had 20 hearts instead of 10, which was actually quite cool. But then I clicked that I wasn't using any, like, Naruto-related items, like the shurikens or the Naruto food. So I decided I'm just going to try them out, see how good they are. And they're not too bad, but the damage wasn't nearly as great as some of the other things I was using at this, at this like, point in time. I ended up finding yet another village and just relieved some stress and then I left um, one child for uh, character development. I ended up going back into the mines to try and like build these spawn egg things which we'll see later. But I nearly died because um, you, you never mine straight down. But luckily, Substitute Sinjutsu is my savior. But I realized by using running fire, you can like have temporary fire resistance. So I could just swim in lava for a bit. The first egg I ended up making was like Minato's egg, which needed two diamond blocks. It was very expensive. And Minato's like lightning bolt item. And then woke up and spawned Minato right in. I thought I'd have to fight him, but I didn't have to. I right clicked him and got his kunai instead. But um, I didn't know how to use it. It said to like print onto it, but I had no idea how to do this. I found out later on, but I had no idea how to do this. I tried to, like to write print, I tripped the controls, I threw it on the ground, and I wrote print again. I, just, I felt kind of dumb, I mean, I, I looked kind of dumb, so I kind of, I gave up eventually. Then I made Zabuza's spawn egg, and um, safe to say I was not anywhere strong enough to fight Zabuza. And then when AFK got killed by White Zetsu, so that was annoying. Turns out if you die, you lose all your hearts. So, um, very annoying. I tried reconnecting just in case that would fix it, but even that didn't give me my hearts back. So I ended up just having to kill tons and tons of mobs to try and get more points back so I could get my health back. I took a break to try and figure out if I could try to get Minato's Kunai to work, which it didn't. So I um, got mad and continued slaughtering every innocent animal I saw. I ended up getting way more points to try and get enough medicine to get even more health. And I, got, I now had three bars, so that was good. I found this like spider lair, which um I thought I could take. But it, it got kind of stupidly close, and I was kind of worried since if I died again, I'd lose my hearts again, and I don't think I could get any stronger than this. So I was very worried at this point in time. I found another like, undefined DNA, which was lightning DNA this time. So I implanted that, got the lightning chakra, and thought this time, maybe I can use, you know, the Namikaze kunai again, which, um, isn't the case. I don't even think, um, Minato even has lightning, so I don't know what I was thinking. But it turned out I also had enough points to get the Mengekyo Sharing Gun. So I was over the moon about this, since if you activate it, you were able to activate a Susano, which I was visibly very excited to do. It actually looked really, really, really cool. With a very well-made model, and you could upgrade it to get even larger Susanos. So I was really happy with this. And it turned out that I had a Tachi Susano, which um, I'm pretty sure is really OP. So I was happy with this. It also looked really cool from first person to see how the arms come over you and whatnot. It was, it was, yeah, it was just a very cool model overall. Though the problem with this is that the, the hitbox is kind of broken. I couldn't punch anything with the Susano open. And I don't know if you can actually use the Susano. But if you use the Mengekyo again, you can have like a Susano on top of a Susano. It was kind of weird to look at, but it was still really cool. Then I saw the Rinnegan, which costed 70 GP and required the Gekai Genkai of wood, which I definitely didn't have. So I thought I couldn't get it since I didn't have it or like, was born with it, you know? And then after that, I saw the Inferno release, a Mataras. So I was pretty, pretty buzzing to try and get that. But with the more medicine and the Susano active, I realized that I was barely taking any damage at all, which was a really nice change since I almost died all the time. So it was actually, yeah, it was just cool. And you can also use Broto Stream with the Susano active. So you're like a flying Susano, which must have been terrifying to see. And then as usual, I spent the entire night just killing White Zetsus. I found Ten Ten again, who still was willing to sell me Sasuke's sword for 16 gold Rio. Um, and yeah, I, I did it. It looked cool and it did 16 attack damage, which was actually very insane. So I was very happy with this like purchase. Why, why does Tenten even have- I eventually found out to make Minato's kunai, you have to use an ink sack. So um, I made it in the end and this kunai changed my entire like playthrough because it's the most ridiculously OP weapon. I think I, I'd say in the mod, I can't say for sure, but it one shots almost everything. And I can, it's instant transmission basically. I, I teleport all over the place. I mean, Minato is the fastest, let's be real. 
and it's just so OP. It was so sick to use. I was teleporting to every single mob, one shotting it, moving on to a next one. It sped up my like ability getting, I guess, tenfold. It was so good, so good. Here's me one shotting White Zetsu, was the which was the most satisfying thing in the world. So, like after it nearly killed me so many times, I was just wiping it off the earth. It was so good. Like it stood zero chance. After a while, I got enough points to unlock the Mataras, and um. It costed a lot of chakra to use, 460 to be exact, and now I didn't even have 100 yet. Oh, 800, sorry, yeah. But I thought this was really cool. Like the Susanoo's shadow like projects onto like mountains using shaders, and it looks so cool. It looks so sick. But again, as night fell, I took on everything that moved or lived, and again, just tenfolded my SP gain because I could just teleport everywhere. But I came ag came against my my mortal enemy across every a single 100 days video of mine the enderman it can dodge everything it dodged my dio barrages it dodges minotos kunai it, do it dodges everything i eventually took it down with sasuke's sword and then i used the Imateras for the first time and um it didn't disappoint it completely burnt a white zetsu but then i realized that it doesn't actually follow the target it just sets like a three by three onto the floor so you can just run off the Imateras which doesn't really make sense. I put points into medicine and jutsu and it needed more chakra and I just didn't want to die, like, I, I really didn't want to die. But I came across the only Naruto structure in the mod right now, which was this like stone, I, I think it's stone village? Maybe it's like a, I don't know, it's stone. I'm pretty sure it's stone, it's a hidden stone. Once I got in the building, it was just filled with like white zetsus and whatnot, but I, they were an ease to take down with, you know, Minato's kunai. It actually had some Naruto clothing, which I really liked, so I put them on. And then I saw they had tons of Naruto food on the table, so I rummaged the area, took all their food. But then I found this like piece of clothing, or just like the set of clothing in, in a glass container, which looked the exact same, but it looked important, so I stole it. I then unlocked Phoenix Flower Jutsu, which honestly wasn't that impressive. It I didn't really do much at all. But then I put a ton of points into Taijutsu and Ninjutsu, since I just thought I was going to need both Taijutsu and more Chakra. So. And then I watched the sun fall, while I had my Susano active, held Minato's Kunai some Ichiraku Ramen, with the Sharingan activated, wearing stone clothes. Quite the 100 days. I just chilled in the house for the first time with this um, Leaf Shinobi, and then I hit the sheets. So, um, it's probably my, my nicest day so far. When I woke up, I again took on Zabusa, and this time, it wasn't as much as a one-sided fight. He did damage, that's for sure, but I also did damage, so we kind of just traded. With enough breaks in between these attacks, I eventually was able to take him down with the Sharingan activated, so I had my strength increased and then putting him in a Mataras. Things went well, and I took him down with, I wouldn't say ease, but it was definitely not as difficult as the last fight. And then I had this like food called Dango, which if you don't know, is um food that is from Japan. Also, I didn't realize, but I actually have Zabuzu's sword now, which does 20 damage and less attack speed, which is far more like OP than Sasuke's sword, so I ended up making this my main sword. I tested it on some white Zetsu and it definitely didn't disappoint, but it said like this like blood here would heal the sword, but it didn't really do anything, maybe I'm using it wrong, but I then made the spawn egg for Daedara, and um, this fight was incredibly difficult because Daedara for some reason does so much damage, like a ridiculous amount of damage, like three hits and I'm over like over half health. It's incredible, so I had to take so many breaks and go in for fights. But I eventually took him down and got like his weird eyepiece, but it didn't really fit since the skins just don't really match for the mod and mine. I chose to put points in the medicine since I nearly died multiple times, and then I hit the sheets. The next day, I got some more diamonds since I was going to need quite a lot for who I was about to spawn in. And that was the one and only Itachi Uchiha. I thought this fight was going to be like ridiculously hard, I thought he'd put him in like an immediate genjutsu, but for some reason all he did was spam the Amateras, which in itself is impressive since I could use it once every blue moon, which is fair enough I suppose. But the fight itself wasn't all that difficult, it was just avoiding his Amateras and then going in for attacks here and there, and I eventually got it done, so it wasn't too bad. After the fight I put some points into medicine and then some more points into genjutsu. I was had enough points to get the Rinnegan but I didn't have the Kakagenkai of wood and I had no idea how I was going to get this so I was a bit stumped I thought I just couldn't do it but after a while of just like fighting white zetsus I got another DNA and this time I got wood DNA and so I used it and it said I implanted the Kakagenkai of wood so I was kind of freaking out I was like okay maybe maybe if I get the Rinnegan and to my surprise I can and I looked the Rinnegan. 
So now I have the Kakagan Kai, the Sharing Gun, the Mengeko Sharing Gun, the Rinnegan, and Wood, which was just crazy. I again changed my skin to not try and match as Sasuke's like Rinnegan Sharing Gun type thing, because I thought it looks cool. And also, since only Stone Armor spawns in this mod pack, I started to spawn in Madara's armor since, you know, he's in Uchiha. And now, I it was I was just a mismatch of it was just so many different characters. The final person I had to fight was Hidan, and his craft was again quite expensive, I had to spare diamonds. And the fight wasn't too difficult, I was kind of worried that if he hit me, he'd like freeze me and make me like bleed to death. I don't want to like have any problems with that, you know, but again, the fight was ridiculously easy. So easy, in fact, I just had to see if I could get my shadow clones to kill him for me, but it, he, they were too weak. At the end of the fight, I ended up like getting hit by nothing, but I got more hearts. I was, I don't actually know why this happened, but I did get his weapon and it looked by far one of the coolest in the mod. Like his sword just looks so cool, or his scythe, sorry. I even tested it on some villagers, as you know, because um, I love, I love villagers. And then I put this <laughs> iron golem into a wood Genjutsu, because, um, you know, I ain't getting touched. And there's iron spider at top of the tree, I thought it was quite funny. I unlocked the Rinnegan ability, which was like opening a portal to a space-time, like their own space-time world, which is probably my favorite, like, move so far in this mod. I didn't know what it was. It reminded me of, like, Kamui, but it, I don't think it was the same. And the floor was made out of like Otsutsuki Dimension Stone. So obviously it's like some godly dimension. But when you go back to the overworld, it actually takes you to the spawn, like your spawn point. So that's probably the only downside. I didn't spawn in Naruto, but it turns out he doesn't actually fight you. So um, I was kind of disappointed. I think he's like to try and unlock um, the Rasengan. But obviously I'm not interested in unlocking that. So I just took him out and that was my 100 days as an Uchiha. <laughs>